Hi guys, I'm Charlie, Charlie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to talk to you about my January TBR. Happy New Year's by the way, I forgot to say that. I already uploaded a video before but that was filmed before January 1st so I couldn't really say it in that yet. But Happy New Year's anyway, I hope you are having a good time, I hope your holidays were good, I hope you had a good year behind you and if not I hope 2019 is better for you. And let's move right on to the books I want to read. I also need to talk to you about something. I'm going to participate in a challenge called the Pop Sugar Challenge. You've probably heard of this one. It, Pop Sugar hosts a challenge every year and it is a reading challenge for 50 books. So I set my Goodreads reading challenge to 50 books. And Pop Sugar has all of these different prompts that really take you out of your comfort zone. And I think that's so much fun. And I'm going to try and match my books to the prompts, but also find new books outside of my comfort zone because not all of my books will fit into those prompts and I think it's going to be so exciting. I'll put a link to the Pop Sugar challenge down below if you are interested in participating as well. The first book I want to talk about is a book I am actually currently reading and that is Kingdom of Ash, the seventh book in the Throne of Glass series, also the final book by Sarah J Maas. I can't tell you what Kingdom of Ash is about because it is the seventh and final book but and I think we all know what Throne of Glass is about. I'm not the biggest fan of this series but at this point I feel like I have to finish it and it's not totally disappointing me so far but it's also not my favorite read of all time and I know this isn't going to be a five star read it's probably going to be a 3.5 three star read and I'm glad when the series is over but I do care about where these characters will end up although I am not a huge fan of all of the relationships in this book and I do feel like Sarah J Maas is trying to just chip everyone off with someone and I hate that I don't think everyone needs to be in a relationship and some characters just don't have chemistry at all and the prompt that fits with Kingdom of Ash is a book that features an extinct or imaginary creature and a creature being Fae. The next book I'm reading is Forbidden by Tabitha Suzuma. This book was also already on my TBR and I am so excited to be reading this one. I've heard about this book a couple years ago but and it kind of piqued my interest in but I was never actually interested in reading it but I encountered it recently again and it again piqued my interest and this time I was like I definitely want to give this book a try because the subject matter sounds so fascinating to me. It's basically a about siblings that fall in love with each other and have to care for their younger siblings. They have to be the parents to them. And I think it sounds super interesting. It's definitely a concept I have never read about before. And the prompt that fits with this one is a book about family. A book I saw last year in December in the Goodreads Awards was a book called Educated by Tara Westover. This is a non-fiction book, basically a memoir by Tara about her education. She never went to a real school until she was 17. She managed to educate herself and then went to Cambridge University. She managed to get away from her survivalist family who I think don't really believe in school. And this is a book about her journey getting to Cambridge. And the prompt I went with for this one was a book set in college or university. And the last book that is on my January TBR is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I think everyone and their mother has either heard about or read this book and I have heard all about it but I haven't read it and I know this was being made into a movie. I don't know whether it has already come out or not. I've definitely, I've definitely seen vlogs of people going to the premiere and stuff and being in the movie but I am excited about reading this. My boyfriend gave this to me and uh, otherwise I don't think I would have picked this up but I am definitely interested enough to give this a try because I have only heard positive things about it. This book is about a girl called Star who sees a black male best friend Star also being black killed by a white police officer. This book is about Black Lives Matter movement. I'm interested to see how this all will play out because this is only a vague premise. It's obviously the start of the story and I don't know what else is going to be in this book but I definitely want to find out. I also know Angie Thomas is coming out with a second book this year and maybe if I read this one I will be interested enough to pick that one up. It's about a girl who wants to be a rapper and that sounds very interesting to me as well. This one fits with the prompt of an own voices book which is in the advanced category for the Pop Sugar Challenge. This book being about a black character written by a black author. So this is my January TBR. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what you think about them or what you are going to read in January. I would love to know. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.